You shouldn't have any trouble today, son. Not without frost warning. Thanks, man. You're welcome. Hey, you forgot your change. Thanks. How you doing, man? Good. Can I uh, buy you a drink or something? No, I have uh, to be. Come on, let me buy you a drink. Well, okay. It's not right, man. What do you mean it's not right? Picking tobacco, working for the tobacco industry. It's just not right, man. What the hell are you talking about? I've been following the sun through the crossroads of my mind. Drifting down the highway, surprised by what I find. You never know how far you go until you find a way. So I ride the wind chase the stars and live from day to day. I ride the wind and chase the stars and live from day to day. Around noon, I went into a store to pick up some supplies, a couple of tins of beans, and ask around to see if I might pick up a few hours' work, make a little pocket money for Niagara Falls. Come on, Wally. Well, you're not too far from home now, but you should come down here for one of our fall fairs. They're really something. Well, we have pretty good fall fairs down my way, too, in Glengarry County, and to the northwest in the Ottawa Valley. When you got me there, son, you have those Highland Games. Bet there's something to see. Well, as a matter of fact, I've never been to the Highland Games myself. Never been to the Maxwell Games. And you living only 10 or 20 miles away. Moving into the north later today will cause temperatures in the Lake Erie region to drop to 4 degrees below zero on the Celsius scale. Or for those of you still thinking Fahrenheit, that would Say, do you think I get a above. day's work, a couple of days' work um, in the fields? Well, you shouldn't have any trouble today, son, not with that frost warning. Just um, walk down the highway and stop at one of the farms or signal a truck full of workers that you see pass. They'll have everybody out in the fields tonight. Thanks, ma'am. You're welcome. Hey, uh, you forgot your change. Thanks. Good. Can I uh, buy you a drink or something? No. Uh, let me buy you a drink, okay? Okay. Far? Cornwall. <laughs> Cornwall. Man, no one goes to Cornwall. Well, I do. It's my hometown. All those factories and all that pollution. I like it there. I hear you say that you were uh, looking for work in the tobacco fields. Or... Yeah, for a day or so. It's not right, man. What do you mean it's not right? It uh, makes you part of the whole thing. What are you talking about? Tobacco, cigarettes, they're killers, man. Don't you read the papers or anything? Look, it's just a job. It's just not right, man. What the hell are you talking about? Look, tobacco can eat your lungs away. It's a fact, man. I'm not going to smoke the tobacco. I'm just picking no, it. No, you see, that's what I mean. Like, if we go on doing things that are wrong, like just, you know, like contributing to disease and sickness and, you know, just like to make a buck, you know. Look, I mean, right now, making a buck's pretty important to me. Well, sorry you feel that way, man. I mean, it's on your conscience, right? Look, I gotta be going. Want to work for a few hours? You bet. Hop in.
I pay you a straight two fifty an hour or piecework. Take your choice. But you will have to work all night if necessary. I'll give you a guarantee of $25 no matter what. I have to get this crop in before tomorrow morning. Have you ever picked tobacco before? No, sir. Well, you probably won't last the night. But I need all the help I can get. Has this cancer business affected you farmers very much? Yeah, we're feeling it. But what can you do? It seems everything you eat or smoke or breathe is bad for you. They're out to get tobacco and they're trying to kill it. Who do you mean by they? The medical profession. But they have proof, don't they? Yes, and, and I have mortgages and debts and a thousand acres of prime tobacco leaves. My kids, nine and ten, come home from school and they ask me what I'm doing about it. Right now, I'm trying to survive. And if I don't get that crop in by tonight, I can kiss my whole future goodbye. Did you lose something? My wallet. I've lost my wallet. Any idea where? Back at the store. What store? At the crossroads back there. Well, Myra Deans. Yeah, I guess that's it. Well, you can call her from the farm. If it's still there, she'll have it for you. Dust to Dawn Horror Show featuring Edgar Allan Poe's premature burial and Godzilla meets the smog monster. And dress warmly because it's going to be a chilly night. The whole world is crazy. And now, here's Alice for Fairweather. Hello, Mrs. Dean. My name is Ken Matthews. I was in your store earlier today. Look, I think I left my wallet on the cooler. Yeah, it has my name and address. It's made of brown leather with a design on it. It's not there, eh? Are you sure? It has everything I own, including about $20. Look, is that guy with the long hair still hanging around there? Do you know where I could find him? Okay, thanks. Oh, if it uh, turns up, could you call me? I'm at the Van Leuven farm. Goodbye. Any luck? No. I think it was that guy back at the store, Warren Gale or whatever his name is. He stole it. It couldn't just disappear. Well, you better get to work. Boy, do I need the work. I'm flat broke now. Uh, don't go at it too hard at first, or they'll carry you out of here on a stretcher. <laughs> down in the sea green fields of the harvest, down by the rivers flowing free. You might chance to come upon a stranger bending down upon his knee. Year after year, he works the harvest, sunburned hands and brawny chest. The man they call the migratory worker, he will put you to the test. And there are plenty working the harvest down by the rivers flowing free. Some to labor until their deathbed, some to raise a family. Year after year they work the harvest, covering the land from east to west. The men they call the migratory workers. Death shall bring them rest. Oh boy, are you tired, kid? Oh, I ever. Ah, come on, let's take a break. Yeah.
Oh. How is your back? Feels like it's broken. I don't think I'll ever be able to stand up straight again. You never picked the back of it before, eh, kid? No, sir. Have an apple. Thanks. Hey, you get used to it. You get to learn how to bend, how to move, and use the right muscles, and save your strength. <laughs> but if you want to be a harvester, you get to develop a strong back. What's the matter, kid? I won't do up if it's come apart. Oh, yeah, let's have a look. Hey, I can fix that for you just a minute, kid. Put this on, kid. It'll keep you warm. It's a bad night. You must have been around for a few years, Jed. Yeah. Whenever there's a harvest, you're gonna find Jed McIntosh being back and forth across this country 136 times, following the seasons and the harvest. <laughs> but I can't read, and I can't write. And I don't own nothing, except an old suitcase and the clothes I wear on my back. But you must know a lot, Jed. I mean, the guys sitting at the desk would like to have had your experience. <laughs> yeah, I've had the experience all right. The things I've seen in those years, <laughs> in the hobo camps, and the bunkhouses, and the railway cars. I've had the experience, but I've never been able to use it. You know what I mean? I got some books carry around with me in my old suitcase. Some of them I had almost half my lifetime. <laughs> and I can't get past the first few pages of any of them, not by myself. Say, if you're gonna stick around for a few days, kid, maybe you could read me a chapter or two. I'm not much for reading myself. You may think you'd like to be like me, a bum, a drifter. But it's a life I fell into, not one I chose. Oh, I've kept myself alive, and that's something. But for me, that's everything. There's nothing more. I never wrote a letter in my life. Have you any idea what that means? To never write to a friend to say, how are things? I'll be passing your way before snow falls. Nobody knows I exist. I know you exist, Jed. An old man with no home. <laughs> and a suitcase full of books he can't read. Here's your jacket, kid. Good as new. Thanks, Jed. Ah, now are things down in this section, eh? Ah, pretty good, Mr. Van Leuven. The boy's a good worker. Well, we have to try to strip as much as we can tonight. The temperature is hovering around 35, but she's going to hit 30 before sunup. So what we don't pick, we lose. <laughs> Migratory worker, now you know why he's the best. Well, that night's over, kid. <laughs> you look tired. It's a long night. <laughs> Should we go and have some breakfast? It's a good idea. <laughs> okay. Now you know why he's the best. Twenty-five dollars. You're welcome. Good luck. Ten, twenty, and five for you. Ah, Jed. Five, fifteen, 
25. There you are. Thank you. And you're coming back tonight? I sure am, Mr. Vandal. Good. I appreciate that, Jack. Well, Ken, you did a good night's work. I'll tell you, Mr. Van Leuven, that's the hardest I've ever worked in my life. And these guys do it day in and day out. Some of them all the years of their lives. We were lucky last night. The temperature never went below 33 degrees out in the fields. It was down around 28 in some of the areas around here. Are you uh, going to stay around? We could have frost again tonight, you know. Well, I need the money, but I think I can get home on this. So, I'm going. going. School starts in three days. So, you're going back. Well, I haven't really made up my mind, but I'm leaning that way. Good. I guess I still have something to learn. And I won't learn at all on the road. And no word about the wallet, eh? That's something I learned. You can't trust people. Some people. Take care. Drop in if you're down this way again. That is, if we're still here. Thanks, Mr. Van Leuven. You're welcome, Ken. Good luck. Hiya. Ah, yes. Ten, twenty, twenty-five dollars. You'll be back tonight? Well, Jed, it's been nice knowing you. You mean you're on your way, kid? Yeah. I have to get home. Well, the best of luck to you, kid. Thanks, Jed. Stop the car. I got some unfinished business. I was just putting in your knapsack. You expect me to believe that, you creep? If I didn't see, I was going to mail it to you. If you don't give me that wallet, oh, I'm going What's the matter with you, man? Give me the wallet! Crossroads of my mind, drifting down the highway, surprised by what I find. You never know how far you go until you find the way. So I'll ride the wind and chase the stars and live from day to day. Yes, I'll ride the wind and chase the stars and live from day to day. Mm -hmm. 